Hello, my name is Stephen Visco. I am the CEO and CTO of Polypos Battery Company. And it is my pleasure to be able to walk you through the exciting work uh, that's happening here in Berkeley, California. So, you know, as you read the newspapers, you see uh, these types of pronouncements uh, related to electric vehicles, you know, the death of the internal combustion engine. And although it may not be tomorrow, um, it's clear that it's coming. And in fact, uh, Bank of Montreal put together this uh, set of projections for oil demand as a function of EV adoption. And when you look at this, you can see, in fact, that there is a peak in demand at about the year 2030. Um, and this is precisely why uh, Schlumberger, one of the world's largest oil exploration companies, has invested in Polypos quite recently. So at Polypos, we asked ourselves the question, you know, how do we develop the next generation of high energy density batteries without compromising safety? Well, the answer is solid state, but not just any solid state. So what Polyplus is doing is moving into glass-protected lithium metal batteries. It's a field we've invented. Um, and we have a very unique approach here, which, in fact, is also patented. And I'll walk you through that toward the end of the talk. So uh, this is enabling for lithium metal. Why lithium, right? And it's, it's, battery scientists know this, that when, you know, lithium chemistries, you can't do any better than lithium metal with a negative electrode. And so as you move from graphite to silicon to lithium, you know, you go, it's a fourfold improvement in volumetric capacity density and a tenfold improvement in gravimetric capacity density. And what that means is smaller, lighter weight batteries. And that will have a big impact on applications that use batteries. So why glass? You know, why are we going to glass electrolytes? Um, so what you see here is our approach. Um, we are using a unique class of glasses, they're sulfides, they can be, uh, they can be softened and molded actually in a very similar fashion to the way uh, flat panel TV screens are made, which is globally scaled. So this is an inherently scalable technology, but we go down to very thin dimensions, 20 to 30 microns thickness. And when you do that, you know, you get these types of mechanical properties. You see here a shot scientist uh, working with a 50 micron uh, piece of glass and it's behaving like a piece of polymer. So these glasses, as I mentioned, they're not silicates. You see here an amber color. This is a sulfide glass. This is, in fact, is made by Shot for us. We work with a number of uh, preeminent glass companies in the world. Um, these materials can be drawn down to very uh, thin dimensions. They're very conductive, as conductive as liquid electrolytes, and they're strong, and they are strong enough to certainly to block lithium dendrites. So this is enabling, and we see it when we cycle cells with these glass electrolytes. We don't see dendrites. They cycle beautifully, and this allows us then to move into domains uh, that were previously unattainable. Here you see, uh, in fact, that there is a, a cooperation now between SK Innovation, one of the largest EV battery manufacturers in the world and Polyplus, and it is to bring this technology to market. So uh, you see here in schematic form the battery we're building, which is a thin piece of glass with a little bit of lithium metal on top and a very conventional cathode. So this is going to be almost a drop-in in terms of manufacturing. Uh, we have the capability in Berkeley to draw thin glass. This is a unique draw tower that allows us to draw uh, 20 micron glass. Uh, in terms of intellectual property, uh, the patents have actually issued. So you see here one of our uh, large patents on the glass, but the patent portfolio is, is quite large. So we really control this technology, and we will control adoption of this technology. And commercialization, it's going to look like this. It is a roll-to-roll -roll process, so we'll be making roll-to-roll -roll thin glass, putting lithium on top of it, and then again it goes into this style of battery, and you can see the improvements here. It's, they're, they're large, right? As we move from lithium ion to uh, polyplus glass battery, it's a big jump in energy density. And when we enter the market, we will penetrate uh, because, in fact, we can reach parity with lithium ion. But there are huge margins to be made as we walk our way through drones, consumer electronics, and EVs. So, you know, the applications are almost limitless. We'll start uh, with the premium markets, move our way into EVs. But uh, we think we can get, as I said, to parity with lithium ion in the EV field. Uh, and if you're interested in the technology, please contact Samantha Miller. She is the head of corporate development for Polyplus. And uh, thank you.